know that Washington, D.C. recently became the official sex capital of the world? Or that more women than men are getting tattooed in all the right places? Or how's this? Ma Bell's been making a fortune with erotic phone calls. There's a fun new way to give blood. And we found an artist obsessed with the part of the female anatomy that, so far at least, we haven't seen immortalized in the Louvre. And we'll look at the big dollar business of big sex pleasure, the kind you take home and tap into your TV set. These stories and more right here, right now, on Sexetera, the news according to Playboy. clearly proves art is where you find it and in new york city where you find it can sometimes be in the most unusual and unmentionable of places this is soho in new york city where art can be enjoyed as you walk down the street in fact on the corner of west broadway and broom a huge mural proclaims i am the best artist so says rene mancada when fame and fortune weren't bestowed upon him rene decided to crown himself. Everybody, I said, are you the best artist? And they said, no, I don't believe in that. So by order of elimination, <laughs> I am the You're best. You're it. <laughs> you know? so. it's, it's debatable whether René is the best artist or not, but he is definitely one of the most controversial. That's because rather than flowers or landscapes, his work has a strong focus on the vagina. Women have been brainwashed into thinking that uh, they have a gutter between their legs too as well so I, and uh, i just don't think that that is yeah. true and uh, i want to to tell people look uh, it is in flowers it's in fruits anything that has to do with life such a beautiful thing renee also claims that there is a vagina on the Mott's apple juice label in fact he believes the vagina is the symbol for every form of life create another apple mm -hmm. you have to go back to that same image and get the seeds out, plant them, and so you are always going back. Anytime that you want to reproduce anything. But how do you feel that. when somebody says, excuse me, when somebody says, now wait a minute, that doesn't look like a vagina to me. Well, then uh, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe they have not seen one. How did all this come about? At what point did you decide to focus your energy and your skills and your talents on the vagina. Once I was asked to draw one of them, and I came to realize that I'd never seen one. You know, you, I always touched it in the dark, and you know, but there was no photograph of it. Where do I go to find somebody who will show it to mm -hmm. me? Even prostitutes, if you go to a prostitute and you ask her, look, I don't want to go to bed with you, all I want to do is look at it, they think you're weird. They think you're like, get out of here, you know, what, what the hell is going on here? Get out. Rene paints vaginas on canvas and also makes wooden sculptures. But one of the strongest images he has created is a five-foot papier-mâché vagina on a cross. So when somebody asks me, that, what is that in the middle, I just have to tell them, you know, it's a vulva, but I leave it as that. Mm. And mm. then they just, the reaction is totally, you know, incredible. I mean, they just look like they have seen the devil or something like that. And how popular is vaginal art these days? Putting it in the kindest possible terms, it seems to be an acquired taste that most people have yet to acquire. At last count, Renee has sold only two or three wooden vulvas at $350 a shot. And as for the vagina paintings, they're still piling up in Renee's closet, unappreciated and unsold. Dan, a vagina on a Mott's apple juice can? So look at me, but Renee says it's there, and as a matter of fact, we talked to the Duffy Mott Company to ask them what they thought about all this, and they said, no comment. Thank you.